Hello everyone, this is Suchit Khandagale and in this video we are going to discuss about joins. So before we move on to join, let's take one simple example on subquery. So the first question is, in which location does employee AAA work? So the query would have been select, we have to select the location from department where we need to match these department numbers and the inner query includes the department name where the employee name was AAA. So this was a case when we wanted to display information from one table and the condition may exist, may depend on another table. But the information that we want to get is entirely from one table. Now you'll see the next example. List the employees along with their locations. So now what we want to display is the employee name and the location where they work. So for employee AAA, so department number 10, the location will be Mumbai. Similarly for rest other employees. So this time what we need to do is we have to fetch data from multiple tables. So from clause will not include only one table but two tables. So what we'll have is select employee name comma location from EMP comma DPT. Okay, so this is again a valid query till now. The first thing to note, whenever we specify multiple tables in a from clause, what it gets treated it as a Cartesian product. So whenever we specify two tables in a from clause, uh, the Cartesian product will be the employee table has five records and department table has four records. So they will get multiplied by each other and the resultant table which is the Cartesian product of employee and department will have 20 records. For each record in first table there will be five rec four records in second table. So if you just want to get the things clear then let's say we display the employee number as well as department number okay so what error over here that was now since we are taking the co uh, columns from two different tables then employee number is a column which is defined in only one table employee name is again a column which is defined in only one table but the last column that is department number is defined in two columns two tables so we need to explicitly specify from which table we want to get that column so let's say we specify department dot department number so a column can be specified by as a normal column name if it is unique but if two multiple multiple tables include the same column name then we'll have to use a dot operator table name dot the column name okay so what we get over here is for each record we'll see for these five records we have Mumbai 10 again associated then for next five records next four so in all we get total 20 records instead of this you can also print emp dot department number okay so what is actually happening is whenever we specify two tables in a from clause the information gets multiplied so what we need to do is we'll have to include a where clause where department number has to match each other so name so we'll have a where clause emp dot department number is equals to dpt dot department number Uh, not e number and e name, it's employee name and their 
location yes so we get the five records and along with their location so one thing to note whenever we use join or specify multiple tables in a from clause then we must include a where condition on a column that is connecting these two tables so in this case department number is a column that is connecting these two tables such that we can look up for which employee what is the location or what is the department name we'll see the next question we need to list the name salary and department of all employees so the question will be again same sorry the query will be somewhat similar instead of just name and location what we need to specify is name salary and department name that is d name so in this case as we know that uh, we can specify a table alias so i'll specify alias name for our emp as e and for department as d and since the from clause is the clause that executes at the first very beginning so in where clause the alias name is available so we can use the entire name the name of the table or the alias name it will again work okay next question we need to list the name and location of highest salaried employee so again the same but in this case here what we display is the only the name and location of all employees but in this case i need to display the name and location of highest salaried employees so we'll have a sub query over here so and salary is equals to select max of salary from emp so the output would be name and location of high salary employee that is ccc and chennai yes last two questions per job how many employees are from mumbai so what it what we need to still get is select designation comma count star from now this question can be done using a normal sub query or using joins so I, we are going to use join over here so as we specify two tables what we need to specify inherently there has to be a where clause which will be on a column that connects these two tables so emp dot department number is equals to department dot department number and now we want per job how many employees are from mumbai so and now the location column is already available from the table department so there is no need to write a sub query on the basis of department number so where location is equals to mumbai and we need to get the information per job so we will need to use a group by clause group by designation and the last question per location how many employees are present so the query for that will be select location and count star from employee comma department where employee dot department number is equals to department dot department number and we need to group by location so per location so in mumbai there are two employees present delhi there is one i guess no two two and for chennai three so we'll see the answer okay so we'll stop for today over here and from next lecture uh, we'll see the various types of joins okay till then happy learning